Swift strings are plain text, which works fine in the vast majority of cases we work with text. But sometimes we want more. We want to be able to add formatting like bold or italics, select from different fonts, or add some color. And for those jobs, we have a new class called NS Attributed String. Attributed strings are made up of two parts a plain Swift string, plus a dictionary containing a series of attributes that describe how various segments of the string are formatted. In its most basic form, you might want to create one set of attributes that affect the whole string, like this. Let string equals, this is a test string. Let attributes, and I'll use an explicit type annotation here, uh, ns attributed string dot key for the key, and any for the value, equals a dictionary of dot foreground color, we'll use UI color dot white, dot background color, we'll use UI color dot red, and dot font, we'll use UI font dot bold system font of size 36. Then we'll put the string and the attributes together. We'll say let attributed string equals ns attributed string with the string being our string and the attributes being our attributes like that. When I press play now, it'll build that string. And over here on the right, you'll see this is a test. You can just press this little box here to fold out how it looks. And you can see there's a large red background with white text inside saying this is a test string. Now it is common to use explicit type annotations up here when making attributed strings, because inside the dictionary, we can just write things like dot foreground color or dot font, rather than having to say the full thing of ns attributed string dot key dot font every time. The values of the attributes dictionary are of type any, because ns attributed string attributes can be all sorts of things, numbers, colors, fonts, paragraph styles, and more. Now we could, if we wanted, get the same effect with a regular string placed inside a UI label. Just change the font and the colors, and they would look the same. But what labels can't do is add formatting to different parts of the string. To demonstrate this, we're going to use NS mutable attributed string, which is an attributed string that you can modify. We'll say up here, uh, let attributed string equals an NS mutable attributed string just with our string. No attributes yet. We'll then say attributed string dot add attribute. And I'm going to add the font attribute using UI font dot system font of size eight at the range NS range location zero. length four. Then I will copy paste that a few times. Uh, so I'll have another one here, we'll say you are size 16, and your range is going to be five length two. We'll do it again, we'll say your size is size 24. And for your range, we'll say eight length one. Next, we'll say size 32, location 10, length four, and finally uh, size 40, range location 15, length six. So calling this add attribute method again, and again, and again, with different font sizes and different ranges. And when I run that code back, we should see a lot of variation in fonts. So look, boom, this is a test string getting bigger and bigger, because these offsets and locations here exactly match the words, this is a test string. Now there are lots of formatting options for attributed strings. For example, you might say uh, ns attributed string dot key dot underline style or color. And there's a whole value here, which is a uh, um, ns underline style dot, and you'll see double stroke, pattern dash, pattern dot, single thick and more. There's also uh, ns through string key dot strike through style and strike through color. It also uses the ns underline style, uh, but now it strikes through characters. There is a dot paragraph style. This thing 
you set up an instance of an NS mutable paragraph style, and that has things like text alignment and spacing. There's even uh, key dot link, which you can attach a URL to to make clickable links right in your strings. And that's just a subset of what you can do with these attributed strings. Now you might be wondering how useful all this knowledge is, but here's the important part. UI label, UI text field, UI text view, UI button, UI navigation bar, and more all support attributed strings just as well as regular strings. So for a label, you would just set its attributed text property rather than text, and UIKit takes care of the rest.